Penyom Kulin is less than 90 minutes from Siem Reap and famous for its rugged beauty and most notably Kulin Waterfall. We discovered that there's so much more to this history rich mountain, stumbling upon bat caves, ancient temples, stunning free camps, and of course a healthy dose of jungle bashing. G'day and welcome to another episode of Adventure Unlimited. Today we are heading out of Siem Reap and towards uh, Phnom Kulin. A few things to note about this area. So Siem Reap is the main tourist area in Cambodia. So things are a little bit more expensive out of here. Where we're going today is at 20 US dollars per person to enter the national park. And we're gonna spend a couple of nights up there to make it worth our while. Up until noon, uh, the road goes up the mountain and then afternoon you can come back down. So if you are heading up, make sure that you head up in the morning. First stop of the day, amazing cliff lookout. Amazing little drive up already, so. Yeah, it's wicked. Pretty damn cool. Bloody good. Second stop of the day. All right, Cool and Waterfall, which is the main tourist attraction up here. There's two waterfalls. There's a small one and there's a bit of a walk to the bigger one, so. Let's see how we go. Paul's not feeling 100%, so. Be right. She'll be right. Not that far of a walk for either. Cross over past the first little waterfall onto the other side and you got some old ruins up here. Wow, oh, that's pretty cool. Really cool. Yeah, old these are. Crazy. 11th century. A bit before my time. Just a little bit, not too much. We're getting on a bit. So that is cool and waterfall done and dusted. Uh, probably the most touristy spot that we'll go to all weekends. Uh, so I didn't spend heaps of time there. Turn off to the next waterfall we we're going to go to was gated off. But um, just found this little spot that was it's marked as a campground. It's definitely a nice option. It's like crazy amount of butterflies up here. Pretty cool, only like not even five minutes up the road from um cool and waterfall. It's like another little creek and rapid section with no one here. <laughs> well, it is an option. Definitely go check out the cliff camping. Yeah. Only downside of the cliff camp, so far as I can see, 
Oh, no, actually that's not true. The one that, the one I'm looking at does have a water course running through it as well. So like near the edge of the cliff and with a waterfall. So that'd be nice. Still got plenty of time, it's only 20 past one, so plenty of time to explore around for more. Yeah. cool spot along here but definitely looks like a proper wet season spot so I think we're pretty much in the riverbed at the moment <laughs> yeah we just crossed over it I don't think it's gonna get that old desired cliff edge camp kind of dropping away and all bushy cliff edge plus water might have to settle for just water or cliff edge or cliffage. The spot where we are, it's so it's on Google Maps, but like the same spot is in three different positions. So we weren't really sure where the falls were. And it turns out the falls are nowhere because it's the end of the dry season. No water or no view. Uh, we've still got the the back cave that we can go and check out while we're on this part of the mountain. If we could read Kamai, that might be interesting. Go, Max. You've been over here. <laughs> yeah, nice. You got heaps of rings. I think that top one is the back cave. Yep. And then, I don't know, there's two things that way, but we're not fitting through there. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> so we found the back caves. We made it. It's good. Yeah. It's very cool as we rock in. Walking up the steps coming in here, it's pretty picturesque. Good torch, good old Milwaukee. And we'll go check out what we can see. It's gonna make you more happier. Right. See how many times I shit myself. This is gonna be a little pinch here, but bats will fly through at head height. Oh, there's a whole thing in here. There's tunnels. Oh, holy That was absolutely wicked. Yeah, she's coming into that thing and having all that, they built all that stuff in there. Yeah, all the, the statues and yeah. the um, offerings. Yeah. The hundreds of bats, and some of them you could get pretty close to. Like they come out of nowhere, you don't know where they're coming from, so that's the scary part. <laughs> ah, it was awesome. Worth the goat track in. Same track back out, and then I think we're gonna go to the spot that we went to straight after Cool and Waterfall. So that spot that we first went to this afternoon after the waterfall has got a few people there. I think they're camping, but they're just chilling out in the hammocks and we'll leave them be. But uh, just a little bit further west of that spot, there was a track. Again, nothing on the map. 
So this last little bit of the track's a bit overgrown, so Paul's testing out his new machete to clear it a little bit, just some of the higher branches. And the weather is coming in like real fast. Last little bit. And yeah, we just walked it. There's a really, really nice flat clearing right next to the river. There's actually a little bridge going to the other side of the river. good is this? Let's take a second to admire it before the rain comes in. We do have a new camping set up to show you as well. Flowing Creek. Well, that was a very enjoyable evening down camps along the creek there. Very peaceful. It was got a nice little bit of rain overnight, which was nice. Freshened up the air. Now we are on the road heading east on Phnom Pulin. So the goal for tonight is to find a cliff camp on the eastern side to get ourselves a nice specky sunrise if the sun comes out. <laughs> Yesterday I reckon was one of the best days we've had on the road here. That's pretty epic. Yeah. So I'm not sure if today we'll top it, but we'll do our best. And um, yeah, excited to see what the eastern part of the mountain has to offer. So yeah, we just rocked up at the sunrise spot at the most eastern point of the mountain. Yeah, it's a cracking view from up here and um, I think we're going to go for a walk. There's like a slightly higher vantage point um, just on the other side of the road. Looks like there's a little hut and stuff up there. Crazy what they've built into the side of this like rock face. Yeah. It's crazy, like from the road, you wouldn't even think that there's anything up here. So we're 
can backtrack a little bit to there's a track that's on Gaia Maps, which is an unmaintained track, so which goes down to the cliff edge. Go check that out. Well, this is looking more promising. It's going in the right direction to start with. Right direction. It's a bit narrow in parts, but pretty much wide enough for us. Just a bit shallow. But, um, do you see on um, Google there's an ancient kiln up here? It might be interesting to stop and have a look at. Not too far up. So, we found the entrance to the kilns. So yeah, what's that? Oh no, well there's, there's a cave, filled up, there's a temple, and the kilns are here, so. I feel like we're on the right track now. We've got signs. Yeah, that's always a good sign, excuse the pun. This looks like the spot, as you can see by the writing. Mm -hmm. It says stuff. This, this is a, yeah, that's the kiln, eh? Don't know if it is, but. <laughs> I don't know either. I just saw a little hut in the bush, so look at this epic tree. That's fine. Oh, that's a cool tree. It's awesome. Is that it under it, do you reckon? Oh. So you got like. You can see like. I think it's just old pottery. It's like it's embedded into a rock. Yeah. There's tracks around, just keep walking around. There's, wait, 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 yeah, wait. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going any further. Oh man, the ground, you look down, keep going, there's still ants here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I got some on my shoulder. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we. Typical pole styles, we go see something, and I'm like, oh, what's down this track? So we keep going. <laughs> and then, all oh. of a sudden, the ground turns to ants. You look down, there's thousands of them. And they're black and they're bitey. Oh, so, fun. that was the panic. We just went piss bolting. <laughs> they're never going down that track. Yeah, well done. So one of the joys of going on a little off the beaten path, off the beaten tourist path trail is none of the signs are in English and we can't read Khmer. <laughs> it's, um, it's, very, it's a very difficult language to read. So we just kind of, kind of wing it at some stages. Reached the next point of interest. The signs. That one says Prasat Dem oh, yeah, Demi it? Demray Crap. There's a temple up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There's arrows in the rocks. So that's a bit of a win. That's always a good sign. Today. <laughs> it's pretty pretty ancient. That was a living experience. We um we didn't realise we were still like in the national park trail of uh, monuments and attractions. So yeah, we rocked up through the back entrance by the looks of it into the temple, and there was a Khmer guy who only can speak Khmer, and we can only speak English. And he was trying to explain some stuff to us and guide us, but. We think at the end he was trying to guide us back out. To be clear, we do speak a bit of Khmer, just 
not tour guide explaining ancient temples level. <laughs> yeah, Carly is a bit better than I am, but when it comes to describing ancient... <laughs> In-depth in ancient history. Ancient history. Haven't got to that module yet. No. Nah. <laughs> well, Paul has well and truly gotten over his apprehension for doing sketchy shit over here. <laughs> Oh, this is turning into an absolute mission. It'll all be worth it if we can get to a cliff, but honestly, I have low confidence. We're in a proper um, scooter track territory now. <laughs> but Paul seems very committed, which I admire. Well, it's too hard to go backwards. It, we did, there were some spots to turn around, but he's, he's committed. GoPro is not going to do that justice. That temple is enormous. It's crazy. Crazy mind. Do not know how old this is, but it's <laughs> ancient. Most of the temples around here are 11th century. Almost as old as your Hilux. Mm. We have a lane to it. Pretty impressive, but. Just had a chat to one of the English speaking tour guides and he reckons that we will not get any further than this spot. Like he thinks it's too skinny, but he said he did take different tracks because he's on a scooter, but he, he's a local tour guide, like mm. he would know. He sort of indicated that the it was like half a metre wide in spots, so we're just gonna have some lunch here. And then, what, what's next? <laughs> well, there's another, there's another point of interest, only 1.5 k's up. So, go what? after some lunch, go for a walk up there, because we don't really have anywhere to camp around here. We're going to camp on a cliff. It's looking less and less likely. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's, well, it's possibly doable, but it's going to be a mission. Even just a couple hundred metres up the track, it's just, it's going to be a mission. It's all, through yeah. years, all overgrown, like. So yeah, it's going to get worse. Yeah. It's so, gradually got skinnier since we left the main road. So, might have to suck it up and backtrack. <laughs> might have to go back to where we stayed last night.
Nah, we'll find somewhere else. It has been a few hours since we checked in last. <laughs> so we ended up coming back onto the main road into town, can't remember the name, I'll put it in the description. And um, we have pulled up at a little like homestay camp style place called ODA Camp. And it's pretty nice. Impeccable timing, just as it starts to rain, but I thought I'd try and get in before the sun went completely down. We set up the swag on this little bench here and there's a little creek down here. Hopefully you can hear me over the rain. Yeah. In um in keeping with what I was saying earlier about the prices being a bit inflated up here, uh, this spot was $12 US for the night, uh, which is pretty pricey, but um, you know, it's on a tourist mountain. Um, but I mean, if you come here with kids, there's like, there's a full playground, which um, Paul's been using. But um, yeah, anyway. Is the dog? It's the dog. Oh yeah, we got a resident dog, which is cool. You're back. <laughs> you just ran off down the street, bro. He's sneaky. Uh, we just had some dinner, and yeah, I guess we're just gonna chill out, listen to some music, and um, have a couple of beers and call it a night. See you in the morning. Gated off. He was gated off. Just arrived at the edge of the mountain, sunrise spot. Yeah. Sunrise, yeah. Looking west. East. 
<laughs> we just wrapped up at the sunrise spot on the edge of the mountain. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what?